Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. We saw in the news, the, I'm not sure how many of you is following what's happening in USA, about the death of an African American. Uh, he was committing a crime and during you know the crime he was arrested and the policeman, he treated him in a very aggressive way and he put his knee over his neck which caused him to stop breathing and later to die. Very disgusting behavior from the policeman, there's no question about that. And uh, uh, this uh, this uh, 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 this victim, he was actually buying from a Muslim store, the store owned by a Muslim. And as I understand, he gave him fake money or something like that. And then this owner of the store, which happened that he is a Muslim, I saw his name in the news, uh, Abdullah, I don't know, something like that. Uh, he recalled the police, the police came, they arrested him, and then his arrest, during his arrest he died. Now the police, the you know the policeman who did this crime, and which is a crime actually, because if you want to arrest a man, you have no right to cause his death. The man was not. Uh, he don't have guns with him. He don't have knives. He was not a threat for them. So they have no excuse to do what they did. In the same time, the guy was on the floor, and he was asking them, "Can you move your knee? I cannot breathe." And yet the filthy, stupid, idiot policeman, he did not move his knee from his neck I mean what kind of a human being you are you put your knee on his neck what do you think he's a camel doesn't matter if he's committing crime or not I mean this is a human you are arresting a human being and you know people who they go to jail let us say you commit a crime but tomorrow you can be a good person you know I mean people they do mistakes people do wrong uh, doesn't mean that they are bad people and God knows what happened to this guy I mean this guy who go after let us say to cheat for a twenty dollars. Obviously, he is not a bad person. I mean, you know, the bad ones is the one who steal millions, not those poor people who the twenty dollars. You know, I mean, come on. So, uh, uh, are you going to do that for Hillary Clinton and all the money she stole? Are you going to grab her and put her on the floor and put your knee over her neck as you did to this poor person? So this guy who stole or he he you know he was a fraud doing a fraud for twenty dollars is the biggest criminal and now we put our knee in his neck as if he is like a, 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 an animal very disgusting behavior from the policeman uh, however what uh, today I saw in the news too that Erdogan he just said about 30 minutes ago uh, we are watching closely the death and the killing the killing of an African-American with a black skin in Minnesota. And here I could not believe it. I mean, this filthy Erdogan, this guy is the one who is watching closely what's happening in America. You see, you filthy Erdogan, the policeman who did his crime, he was arrested in a few hours after the crime. This is America, my friend. What about you? When you will be arrested yourself, you caused the death of millions of people in Syria. Hundreds of thousands of Kurdish, they lost their houses and tens of thousands, you killed them. Right now as we speak, war happening in Libya by your own militant and the, the Al-Qaeda and ISIS fighters. Right now as we speak, your fighters, which are terrorists in Syria, they are destroying and killing. And they are shitting Kurdish uh, villages and they are raping their women. And this filthy is saying we are watching what's happening in America. Question, what does that mean? What do you want, what do you want to do, Erdogan? Erdogan, what you will do exactly? I mean, okay, you are watching what you will do. It's not his fault. You know, when little puppy, he think he's a lion, that because there's no lions around. And the stupid Trump, he don't, for some reason, there is something fishy about Trump and Erdogan. You know, whatever this guy he do, Trump, he's, he, he make himself as he did not see anything. I heard that Trump, he have a lot of investment in Turkey. I'm not sure if this is true or not. But it sound fishy. Whatever this guy he do, he go to Libya, it's okay. He killed the Kurdish, it's okay. I mean, Trump, he play blind when it's come to Erdogan. There is something fishy. Mostly it's about money. Because this guy, Trump, you know, I voted for him, yes. But as I said many times, not because he's the perfect person, but because he is the, you know, let, let us say the most horrible between the most, 
disgusting. You know, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, either him or Clinton. So we said, okay, him better. I mean, uh, a guy with one eye better than a woman. You know, she is blind and she will take us to hell, all of us. So uh, when Erdogan, he makes such a statement and his own prisons full of journalists, judges, execution, rape, they rape even those who oppose him. I mean, everybody, everybody who opposed Erdogan, he is in jail immediately. And yet he is watching what's happening in America, specifically for an African-American. How much, how much he cared for a human right. Thank you, Erdogan. We really appreciate you. I don't know in America what we will do without you. I mean, justice in America will not exist if not Erdogan giving warning. And right now, because Erdogan, he gave warning to America, he's watching closely. America and the president of America will be terrified. Everybody, I mean, USA army will be terrified because Erdogan is watching. The most racist, disgusting creature in earth, Erdogan, is watching a human right in America. Have you ever heard of a joke like this? But again, it's not his fault. When there is no lions around, the puppy, he think he's a lion. Leave your comment in the video and tell me what do you think. Take care and God bless.